Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by diffusion. You should then be able to describe the factors that affect the rate of diffusion. We've already seen how cells are surrounded by a cell membrane. This is where molecules enter and leave the cell. Now one way that molecules can move in and out of cells is by diffusion and that's what we're looking at in this video. Here's the definition of diffusion and it's really important that you learn this. Diffusion is the spreading out of particles resulting in a net movement from an area of higher concentration to an area of lower concentration. And the word net just means overall. So we're going to look at three molecules which move in and out of cells by diffusion. These are oxygen, carbon dioxide and urea. And it's really important that you learn these examples. Cells need oxygen for respiration and that's carried out by mitochondria. Now cells are surrounded by a high concentration of oxygen and that's because oxygen is transported in the bloodstream from the lungs and we're going to look at that in a later video. So I'm showing the oxygen molecules here and you can see that we've got a higher concentration of oxygen outside the cell and a lower concentration inside the cell. Now what that means is that the oxygen molecules move into the cell by diffusion and we can see that here. So the oxygen molecules are moving from an area of higher concentration to an area of lower concentration. As I said before, the oxygen is used to generate energy in respiration and this produces the waste gas carbon dioxide. That means that we have a higher concentration of carbon dioxide inside the cell than outside. So the carbon dioxide moves out of the cell by diffusion like this. Now another molecule which diffuses out of cells is urea. Urea is a waste product produced inside cells. It diffuses out of the cells into the blood plasma and it's excreted by the kidneys. Now the rate of diffusion is affected by three main factors. So let's look at these now. The first factor is the difference in concentrations. I'm showing you here a molecule on the outside and the inside of a cell. As you can see, we've got a higher concentration outside the cell than inside. So that means that the molecules will diffuse into the cell like this. Now scientists call this difference in concentration the concentration gradient. The greater the concentration gradient, the faster diffusion takes place. So in this example, diffusion will be fast. Now in this example, the concentration gradient is much smaller. So that means that diffusion will be slower. The second factor that affects the rate of diffusion is the temperature. The higher the temperature, the greater the rate of diffusion. That's because the particles have got more kinetic energy and they're moving faster. Now the final factor is the surface area of the membrane. Take a look at these two cells. The cell membrane of the cell on the left has a much larger surface area than the cell on the right. That means that the rate of diffusion will be greater for the cell on the left. So remember that the larger the surface area of the cell membrane, the greater the rate of diffusion. Remember you'll find plenty of questions on diffusion in my revision workbook and you can get that by clicking on the link above. Okay, so hopefully now you should be able to describe what's meant by diffusion. You should then be able to describe the factors that affect the rate of diffusion. Mm -hmm. 